Okay, so here's my 2023 WRX. I gotta be honest, it drives me crazy. There's no spare tire. I haven't really driven it that much since I've gotten it maybe like three months ago because I still have my Forester XT. Anyway, all right. So herein is the problem. So as you know, if you own one of these cars, there is no spare tire. I'll show you what comes in here. You got the carpeting. Next thing that's in there is this. This is extremely deep, as you can see, and it sits all the way down in the recess where there would be a spare tire. Please note that every time I say spare tire in this video, what I mean is a donut type of temporary use tire typically included with a car purchase. If there were a spare tire, like the Canadian version. So from my, from my Forester, I got this piece right here. And you can order this from Subaru. This is a universal that holds down a spare. So I bought this part right here. This is, this is from an Impreza, part number 95086, FL is in Florida, 02, A is in Apple, okay? And this part fits perfectly without a tire. <laughs> Pay no attention to the test piece of styrofoam in the bottom of the tire well. I didn't wind up using it. It came out of my Forester, and I thought I can use it, but it actually made the spare tire sit up too high. So ignore it, I wound up throwing it back in the other car. Fits right in here. Nice and flush. The question is, with a spare tire in here, will it sit up or will it not sit at all? All right, so I sent away on eBay for a tire. Came in last night. There's a spare I, I sent away for it and I came in yesterday. I'm not sure if this is off a WRX or off of an Impreza, but I'll tell you the size. The size is T14570D17. So it's a 17 inch rim, so 14570. What I did was I went on tire comparison website and I compared the height and rotation of the OEM tire, which is 245, I believe 245, 24540R18. So I compared the 24540R18 size to this and it should be the same. If you come look over here, all right, this is definitely the correct size for a spare, okay? And it's the same, same bolt pattern as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the trunk, see how this goes out and goes in there. Okay. And we got a little bit of an issue. This is worthless. I'm gonna to have to put a little something here. So it's screwed all the way in and the tire is still loose. And that's because I didn't use the styrofoam under the tire. All right, so let's see if this fits. Because the tire is not sitting up. Okay, that's gonna work. It is, it is up a little bit more than I'd like it to be. So I'm wondering if I take these little pieces off, if this, this does the trick. So let's see if it, this comes off. This is just glued on. One, two. I feel like I should take these off too. Let's see. Now it's gonna sit too low. 
but I'll try it. Three. I could always glue this back on. Four. That's absolutely perfect now. Okay, so without these, it's flush. You know what, I'm gonna take these two off also. I don't know if these need to sit on the tire. Let's see. No, nope, I'm gonna leave those on. It, co it couldn't hurt, I don't want this crushing down. All right, anyway. Now, there's one other little missing piece. So I pulled these off, these four, and now it fits. What I'm gonna do, in order that the tire doesn't move around and rattle, is I'm gonna take these couple pieces and I'll put them underneath here. One piece there. Let's see. Two. This is totally unnecessary having having this, but let's see what happens. All right. So I put those four pieces down there. I'm just gonna crank this down. Just pushing them in. Okay. All right, so the tire is not gonna move. I put those in unnecessary. I could have put something else. All right, the one missing link, let me get from my car. The missing link that you have to buy is this part here, okay? This part came with my Forester. It didn't come with a WRX. Here's, I'm gonna actually take the WRX jack and put it in there because it's very possible the Forester jack won't fit. Each jack has to go with the car that it was that it came with. If I use if I use the WRX jack on the Forester, it won't be tall enough to lift up the Forester. So that's really the issue. Okay, so it's pushing on the styrofoam and it won't pop out. Let's see if we got a part number on this. Part number. 97035 F is in Frank, G is in good, 030. Holder assembly jack. That's what it says. Okay. Let's put this back in. Wherever this came from. No, oh, here it goes. Okay. So let's see if I fit this in the car. And then I'm only missing one part. I'm missing the hook. So this goes. down there onto that piece right there. Okay. And here's the new one of these. And I'll show you where the hook goes. Perfect, perfect fit now. All right, let's grab the hook which is the thing that you turn the jack with from the WRX, right there. And we'll put it in the Impreza holder. Right there, a little cutout for it right there. All right, and then we should be good to go. Put this back in. Okay, it's just, let me take this out just to show you. Completely flush at this point. All right, let's get a little closer so I can show you. All right, so here's this part. Completely flush, this was it came with the car, OEM, OEM. This part number on the Impreza was that. 95086FL02A. You 
like I'd buy the jack holder. You don't have to, but makes it nice and clean. And the spare tire for the Impreza I got on eBay for, let's say, $150. You can get them from $100 to $200. And then I took off the back four pieces of styrofoam so it would sit down further. And flush fit. Perfect. And you can get your hand in there, get it out. So then we're going to put this back on. Now the question is, does I still need this? Or is that gonna make that sit up too high? Let's see. Nope, it's, it's even got a little cutout over here for this to sit into. So, no, it's not sitting up any higher, actually. All right, so that's it. All right, the car now has a spare tire perfectly in there. I am gonna take the Forester spare tire stuff. I'm gonna throw it in the Forester. The only thing I need to, you need to buy one of these, by the way. One of these, almost impossible to get the tire off without, without a, uh, one of these bars. All right, so you really need to purchase one of these if you're planning on changing any tires. I'll probably swap this back and forth until I get rid of the Forester. But that's it, spare tire, perfectly in there. Thanks for watching.